To write the name for Ki, we first need to recognize that this is an ionic compound. That's because we have a metal bonded to a nonmetal. So metal and nonmetal, that'll give us an ionic compound. And we need to think about the ionic charge for the compound. We should also note that this is a binary ionic compound because we have two different elements bonded together. And when we have a binary ionic compound, we use these rules to write the name. So we'll first write the name for the metal, that's the potassium, as it appears on the periodic table. So K is potassium. And then for the nonmetal, we write the name as it appears on the periodic table as well. We use a small i, and we replace the ending with ide. So the ine is replaced with ide. So the name for Ki is potassium iodide. If you were asked to write the formula, you need to recognize that potassium is in group 1 on the periodic table, so it has a 1 plus ionic charge when it bonds, and then iodine that has a 1 minus ionic charge. 1 plus and 1 minus, they're going to cancel out. So we only need one potassium and one iodine atom here for potassium iodide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.